welcome to another episode of azure devops in our earlier episode we have seen how to connect github to azure devops pipeline extending that now we will be connecting aws cloud that means our code will be in github and we will be using azure devops pipeline to deploy something on aws cloud so let's get started first thing first i have logged into my aws account and Basically, what I have to do, I have to authenticate Azure DevOps Pipeline to the AWS. For that, I'll need some kind of credentials or any user account. So once you are into AWS, go to IAM. You can go into the search bar, type IAM, click on IAM. Then from the IAM console, click on users. Basically, I'll be creating a new user. For that, I am going to click on create user, any name for the user let me give it a temp or something like that i do not need console access for this user basically this user will be a cli user only so click on next then i can provide permissions in multiple options or multiple ways i will be taking the third one basically i will be directly attaching a policy to this user and i will be taking s3 full access so this amazon s3 full access i am going to select select whatever permission you need according to your need then click on next and obviously better choice will be using a group or something like that but yeah that's not a aws tutorial click on create user now my user is created i can click on the new user go inside and i can click on security credentials so there is no access key or security credentials created as of now so click on create access key and it is asking what kind of use case you are going to run with so i will be running something outside aws i am choosing that but you can choose as per your need it is giving some warning that's fine click on next any name for the key and maybe this is episode 7 anything like that create access key so you will be getting two basically two values first one is kind of your username copy it paste into one notepad then another is your secret key click on the copy button for the secret key paste that also and you are pretty much done you can download a json file also oh, sorry not json file csv file and you can use that later onwards but yeah i'm done with that click on done it will give one warning i'm fine without downloading click on continue so everything is set from my im perspective from the aws site now i need to log in to my azure devops which i have already done click on your project and if you remember from our earlier episodes we have used variable variable groups so click on pipelines basically i need to store that value somewhere right so i will be using library click on library this is basically a variable group or group of variables you can define so no variable group is created as of now if you are wondering what is variable group what is variable or secret file you can check out my older episode which is in the same azure devops playlist but yeah so quickly i'm going to create a new variable group any name for that something like that any description if you want to provide that's fine with me then i need to add those variables so what are the variable names i already created one yaml file for this i'll be explaining that in a short time so basically i'll be using these two variables aws id and aws key I'm taking this name for the variable AWS ID and I need to paste the value which I've copied first. This is my AWS ID or kind of username you can think of. Paste that and click on this lock button. This lock button basically secures and it cannot be reviewed or it cannot be exposed by anyone by mistake. Then I need to take the key and obviously the name is AWS key for that variable. This is my name of the variable this is my value let me paste it and lock it i am done and let me click on save now variable group is created with these two variables in a secret mode and you cannot unlock it if you unlock it basically value will be erased but yeah then i need to click on pipeline permissions no pipelines are permitted to access these variables as of now you can click on plus button and there is one more episode as i said you can check that out how to give permissions but yeah you can choose whatever pipeline you want to give access to and you can make it open also click on this three dot button and open access and click on open access so any pipeline will be able to access these variables there is no restriction as you see on the screen 
close this window now our secret key and id is set that means your username and password is set now i need to go to pipelines and i have already created a file and pushed into my github repository if i go to github repository here it is and you will find a directory called az devops and aws 7 inside that episode 7 and here is the yaml file and if i click this yaml file you will see what are the contents and let me explain that very quickly so basically this will be triggered on the main branch whenever i do any change on the main branch this pipeline will be triggered it is going to run on ubuntu machine i have divided that into multiple jobs if you are wondering what is a stage a job or step you can check out my older episode where i have explained that but yeah so basically my first job is to create a storage bucket or s3 bucket on aws for that what i am doing i am changing my directory to the aws episode 7 then basically i am enabling python virtual environment i am using pip to install aws cli then i am simply using aws s3 api or aws cli command to create a bucket in the us east one region once the bucket is created i am using another job to upload some file and this file is nothing but i have created a data folder and there is one upload.txt file any anything you can upload or anything you want to do you can do then using the similar method i am using aws s3 sync to upload the file to the bucket and yeah that's about it i have already pushed this as i have shown in github now in our earlier episode where we have connected github to azure pipeline we will be following the same steps so click on new pipeline and this warning is fine click on leave again i am going to take github again it is showing all of my personal repositories just like earlier episode i can click on this connection button from bottom of the screen and you will see as my github organization was already authenticated in my last episode i can click on that it is listing all the repositories which i have authenticated which is devops youtube and we have taken starter pipeline for the previous one but this time as i have already pushed the yaml file I can go for the last option existing as your pipeline yaml file click on that main branch is fine and drop down on the path it will be basically listing all the yaml files in that particular repository and this time i'm going to take aws az pipe one this one click on continue and basically if i run it now it is going to fail and i'll tell you why instead of running let me just save it it is creating the pipeline now now the pipeline is created devops youtube something and i need to click on edit basically i have not linked that variable group where i have kept the secrets i need to link that to this pipeline even if you make it open from the library side still you need to map it to the pipeline so once you are into the edit mode click on the three dot from the extreme right corner then click on triggers for the pipeline once you are into trigger click on this variable tab and you'll see the second option is variable groups no group is linked to that click on this link variable group it will list all the libraries which we have authenticated or that means you have opened or given the access to click on link and you can expand now and you'll see all the variables over there this time i can save or i can even save and queue that means i can run the pipeline directly after saving this pipeline so click on save and queue main branch is fine again then save and run now pipeline job is queued and i can click on the first job create storage it has started now so as you see my s3 bucket is created from the first job now the next job is running so basically it is installing that aws cli and after that it is going to upload the file or the data file and the job is done now as i see the text file is uploaded now let's go into aws console click on s3 now and we'll definitely see the new bucket created the bucket is created as i see the episode 7 click on that and here is my upload.txt i can click on that and if i am already authenticated i can basically view the file i can click on this open button over here it will basically open a new tab and this is my file content that's about it we have connected our as your devops pipeline with aws and we can deploy anything we like yeah i have not explained the code so little bit if i explain the code how it is getting authenticated basically 
I am taking the AWS ID and AWS key and I am setting that as environment variables. These are specific to AWS. If you specify AWS underscore access underscore key underscore ID and similarly AWS secret access key, basically it is going to authenticate for you with proper credential setup. So this is about it. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next episode.